High lofted fairy woods have been extremely popular in fittings at Second Swing so far in 2021. We're going to explain in this video just exactly why those high lofted fairy woods are such a popular recommendation for our fitters. Hey golfers, Drew Mahold and Thomas Campbell here from Second Swing Golf. Today we're outside at the driving range at Les Bolstead Golf Course. Today we've got a fun, kind of unique test here today. So uh, a popular trend in fittings this year at Second Swing has been high lofted fairy woods and fitting golfers that maybe need a little bit more height, a little bit more launch from that part of the bag into a high lofted fairy wood, such as a seven wood or a nine wood. So today we're gonna test those out. We've got also four and five hybrids here too to kind of compare them with. Um, and so Thomas, you know, I, you've been the one fitting customers um, daily here at Second Swing. Why exactly are these clubs so effective for so, so many golfers? It comes down to the center of gravity, the loft, and uh, the spin that a high lofted fairway wood can generate. When you can generate more spin with a higher lofted fairway wood, the ball's gonna get up the air easier. It's gonna give you a much steeper landing angle so it can stop on the green a little bit easier for you. But it's gonna get up, it's gonna get more to carry up in the air, but it's also going to be very, very easy to hit. And it's very easy. I mean, you've got a large fairy wood in your, in your hand. You're trying to hit the ball off the ground. Let's face it, fairy woods off the ground, they're not the easiest shots to hit. It's probably my worst shot that I have. More loft is your friend. Yeah, and I know hybrids are in particular more popular at this stage of the bag, right? Um, a four hybrid, a five hybrid are probably the most popular ones right now. But seven woods and nine woods certainly have their case to be effective options. So today, um, we're gonna, you know, well, you are gonna hit some shots kind of with each of the four sort of clubs we've got here. Four hybrid, five hybrids, seven wood, nine wood. Um, all the Ping G410 variety. And um, we're just gonna see how Trackman tells us these clubs differ. Yeah, let's see how, see how they all kind of compare with regards to spin and ball speed and height and landing angle. It's gonna be really interesting. Mm -hmm. Thin. That is so high. All right, so Thomas, that might be the first five shots you hit with a nine wood, maybe ever. <laughs> um, uh, you know, we're kind of into the wind too. Uh, obviously, normalization's on, so it won't factor into the numbers. But the ball is ballooning very high here, so. Yeah. Um, it's, it's just interesting because I know what your iron numbers are a little bit and this is like comparable to what you'd probably hit, what, it's five iron maybe? Yeah, I think I was hitting it right around about 210 yards, I think mm -hmm. was, the, was, the, was the distance, carry distance. Yeah. One thing I noticed was the spin rate. It's pushing the high 5,000s. Yeah. That's the kind of spin that I even sometimes get with my six or seven iron. Yeah. So it's really interesting to see how much spin mm -hmm. I'm generating with the nine wood. Yeah, so I'm, I'm interested now to see, we'll go to maybe a five hybrid here. Um, and we should note 23 and a half degrees of loft on the nine wood there. And that's still generating that kind of spin and height. So we'll see how that compares to the five hybrid, which is I believe 25 degrees. Yes, yeah. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. In fact, that's significantly lower. Yeah, it was. I mean, the wind got it. Right. Club length's a little shorter, so I'm not going to swing as fast. Which is, that's part of it, you know? Yep. Stock swing is a stock swing. Did that better, though. The first one was spinny. That one was hit real solid. So it's, it's interesting because this is more loft, so we should expect more spin and like more height and stuff. Yeah. But kind of similar. So far, I mean. But it, it's lower, but it's spinning about kind of the same, right? The total height in the landing Yeah, angle. the height's lower. Yeah. But the spin, I mean, so far through two shots is higher. Yeah. So five shots to the five hybrid. Um, I know it probably looks quite different, um, both to you in general, but also compared to the nine wood. But interesting the numbers there because the height was, I think, 20 feet lower with the five hybrid, but then it actually did have about, on average, 500 more RPM of spin. It's kind of interesting how that, how that compares there. Yeah, it was noticeable seeing it fly through the sky. The height with the five hybrid, it was lower. Yeah. And was even still hitting to a little bit of breeze. The wind didn't affect it as much. 
With the nine wood, it was just kind of up <laughs> yeah. and kind of down. So if you're hitting into the wind, the nine wood might spin more, uh, essentially, because it's going to get that height. Yeah. Uh, but we kind of noticed the lowest spin rate I had with the five hybrid, I believe, mm -hmm. was about 5,800 yeah. RPMs. I believe that was actually the average spin with the nine with wood. the nine wood. Mm -hmm. So it's spinning a little bit more. Even my best strikes were still spinning about kind of what the average is, what the nine wood was essentially. Right. Which is interesting, yep. and you know, we should again note the five hybrid has what a degree and a half more loft, so you can take that for what you will. And again, we are using different lengths of shafts too, because you know, with a fairy wood, you're going to have a longer shaft and have more yep. speed. But this is all part of the equation in terms of deciding between a hybrid or a high loft fairy wood. So, yeah. and I'm not trying to swing all these four clubs at the same club speed. I'm yeah. just trying to swing at the same smooth golf swing essentially, yeah. because just your stock swing. Yeah, just the stock golf swing because the shafts are a different length. It's going to be different. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. let's kind of move on here. We'll go back to fairy woods. We'll go to seven wood here. Okay. So low, low on, on the face. face. Yeah, that might work though. I mean, that's just showcasing the the forgiveness you've got with that. I mean, yeah. that was a miss hit, but it still went pretty straight there for me. I mean, yeah. far enough too. It actually the yeah. spin didn't jump very much. Oh, uh, that was interesting there. That's a good one. Ping G four ten. All right, so Thomas five shots there with a seven wood now, and the seven wood loft is that twenty one degrees. Yeah, so it's 21 degrees is on the, on the seven wood. Okay, yeah. so uh, it's interesting to compare this now to the five hybrid and the nine wood. So as you would have expected, probably so far, that's the strongest lofted club, so it's gonna go the furthest. Um, but the interesting thing is height-wise, it went higher than the five hybrid and was just a little bit lower than the nine wood. So um, interesting to kind of see how that compares. You know, we're, it's gonna be a little bit of because the, the woods are built different, right? Yep. The, the center of gravity is just so far back compared to the hybrids. So that's gonna, I think by nature, it's gonna launch higher and fly higher than the hybrids will. Yeah, and one thing I noticed is a little bit less spin also with the seven wood versus the nine wood. I think it's about 400 RPMs, I believe. I think we saw about a 5,400 average, mm -hmm. um, which is what you'd expect with a little less loft on the golf club, a little longer shaft. It's gonna generate a little more club speed. Yeah. It's gonna go a little further. It's mm -hmm. gonna, gonna gap differently. Yeah, for yep. sure, for sure. Another thing to note too, launch angle, seven wood is higher than the five hybrid there as well. So despite the loft difference that we've already noted of yep. I think four degrees even, so. And I'll again. say it's so easy to hit yeah. off the ground. It's like cheating. It's like, I mean, <laughs> I have a hard time hitting my three wood off the ground. And there's obviously less loft on that three wood. Yeah. But if you have a hard time striking the ball with a fairy wood at impact, and you maybe don't have the fastest club speed, absolutely give that higher loft of fairy wood yeah. a shot. Well, and, I mean, and this isn't talking to just mid or high handicap players. I mean, seven woods are sneaky popular on the PGA Tour right now. And, yeah. I mean, that, and there's a reason for that. Like you said, they're very easy to hit. Get a solid strike and get also the stopping power that you need. But, all right, last club, four hybrid. Okay. Let's get after it. That was a very pure ball flight there. That was a nice swing. That's low, out of the wind. <laughs> That is just so different than the other three clubs. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not even close. <laughs> okay, so Thomas, I mean, we both saw it right away. I mean, the ball flight on the four hybrid, just it was almost in its own league compared to the other three clubs that were hit yeah. today, despite the fact that the loft is still kind of in the same range as the rest of them. 22 degrees on the four hybrid, and it was actually had more loft than the seven wood, but the ball flight's completely different. Yeah, it was it was the height and the spin. It was it was a big difference. I think the first first three or four shots I hit were high three thousands in the spin. Mm -hmm. and that's kind of what I would expect out of a, a four hybrid. I was a little surprised with the five hybrid how much spin that I did generate with that. The last one I missed hit a little bit was like five thousand with that four mm -hmm. hybrid. Maybe I wasn't quite catching that five hybrid as well at, at the time, but you can just notice even. Yeah, so much less spin, such a lower ball flight. And you can see why even like a three hybrid or four hybrid for those slower swing players, it's not gonna generate maybe as much spin. Why consider a higher loft of fairy wood? Cause it's going to yeah. get the ball from the air. It's going to spin a little bit more. 
exactly. That's the whole, I mean, that's the idea, right? Is that's a lot of, why a lot of golfers are being fit into high loft to fairy woods is because here's a four, four hybrid. It is spinning 1300 RPM less than the seven wood um, on that spin rate, which is significant, right? Because then you get someone with a little bit slower. I mean, you're at 4,100 on average here. And that was with maybe one miss at the little bit at the end there. Um, you get someone that doesn't quite have your speed. It's gonna be tough to get that ball into the air enough with a four hybrid. Whereas a seven wood was already at 5,500 spin and then it was on average 26 feet, 25 feet higher in the air. So that's a significant difference and the lofts are very similar. Yeah, and I wasn't even swinging at my full normal, normal club speed. I was just hitting nice smooth swings here mm -hmm. with all of them to try and give club speed that's gonna generate closer to what our viewers are seeing. But even still, if I was going to swing faster, the seven wood's gonna spin more. The hybrid's gonna spin a little more. Yes, everything spins more when you swing faster. But if you have less speed, that spin mm -hmm. rate's going to drop. And that's why it's an advantage for a high loft of fairy wood, because you already know you're gonna get more spin more help to get the ball up in the air, Yeah, that just, just seeing that height and that landing angle differences, that is huge. Yeah, because I think one thing was that I noted too is the difference in spin for just the two hybrids. I mean, the four hybrid was, I think, 40, you know, 4,100, 4,200, and then the five hybrid was over 6,000. And that's four degrees of loft there, but it can make a big difference in the bag, and it's important for gapping purposes, and it's important to know when golfers are going through a fitting to kind of understand that those numbers make a big difference. Can you look at the distance numbers here? You got, you know, 25 yards of carry distance difference in the, just the two hybrids. And, you know, we're talking about 30 yards of total distance there. So depending on the club that's right for your swing, depending on how you hit, deliver the club, all these things, it's important to give, get all the information through a fitting and understand this because all these clubs are different and they're gonna perform differently as we saw today. Yeah, and I'll also say gapping is really important. You brought up the big differences there. Now we're testing with the Ping G410. We also have the Ping G425. You can adjust some of these hosels depending on yeah. the manufacturer. So you can adjust to help with your gapping, whether you're trying to lower the spin, higher the spin, higher the carry distance, lower the carry distance and the height. It's one nice thing you've also got with some of these adjustable hosels to really kind of fill the gap that you want to make sure you have good gapping with every single golf club. Absolutely, yeah, that's the one key piece. I know, I mean, every fitting, obviously, you're looking at hosel adjustments and anything that you can possibly do to tune things. But according, I mean, that's the big piece here for golfers that are watching this is gapping through the bag, making sure you've got the right club uh, between your longest iron and the fairy wood in your bag um, and making sure that you've got the right gapping in place and you're able to get that club into the air enough so that you can land it on the green or that you can hit your target that you need to. So. Uh, interesting test here today and just have an example of why these high lofted fairy woods are uh, being fit into so many golfers this year in 2021. So Thomas, thanks for hitting all the shots today and demonstrating everything for us. Yep, not a problem.